Hi everybody, what's up? It's me, Brian, back in with another video. This is a bit different. Uh, if you're, of course, if you watch my videos, you know that I am a football fan. Most people are. So uh, today I'm gonna rank every single Premier League home kit. Yes, every single Premier League home kit, every single team from Arsenal to Nottingham Forest or something like that. Oh, no, from Arsenal to Brighton. This is the order I'm going in. I have list. You don't. You don't want to know how long time it's taking me to do all this. I got every single Premier category of every Premier League team. Just ignore all these other files. Anyway, starting it off with the team that is so far in first place. I wanted to win the Premier League, but I, don't, I have a feeling City's just gonna steal it from them. It is Arsenal's home kit. Personally, this is kind of a fire kit. I feel like Arsenal have probably the best set of uh, kits this season. Very reluctant to attend to the details. Little details there and then, the logo's fire. Personally, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but damn, this is a very good kit. Look at this. The sponsorship doesn't really ruin the kit. I feel like it really makes it. I like the I like really the shirt design, little collar here, which is a normal. I really like the coloring. It is probably easily top tier. Uh, for a weird reason, it doesn't have the Fulham kit here. Fulham home kit, it's just a badge. But this is the Fulham kit. And personally, it's kind of biased for me because I am a Fulham fan. If you didn't know it about me, I am a Fulham fan. Well, I don't know why. Okay. Not gonna lie, I feel it's a pretty solid. It's not the best kit, but I do. If I put my bias aside, it's not one of the best kits, but it's a good kit. I'm gonna say it's decent. Moving on, we got the Wolves kit. Personally, I like. Uh, generally, I do like Wolves' kits. Feel like it's a good shade of orange. It's not too orange. The the sponsorship doesn't really ruin it that much. It's just Austro Pay hey, doesn't really look the best. So not the best sponsor he could have had. I was gonna say it's a decent kit. Moving on to Liverpool, and since Mark is a, since Mark my friend, you you've seen it from past videos. He's a Liverpool fan. I can't really say much. Personally, I want to like I know there's a lot of angry Liverpool fans out there if I put it as a bad kit It's not a bad kit, but it's not my favorite one of the kits. I Like the badge. I like the sponsor the sponsorship. It maybe ruins it a bit not much Personally, it's an it's, it's an average Liverpool kit. I am sorry for all the Liverpool fans out there But I don't rate this like top tier or I mean, I'll rate this in decent, but I feel like all every Liverpool kit is something like this. So, but I, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying maybe try something new. But personally, it's not. It's, I'm not. I, 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 it sounds like I'm hating on it. I'm not. It's a good kit, decent. Moving on, Southampton, who are bottom of the Premier League last time I checked. Personally. I do like the Nottingham kits, but the thing that ruins it is this giant fat sports back.io kit. Freaking Bitcoin. Why is it Bitcoin? Look. Why? Right now it's 30% off, so you can get it for. Well, here in Norway, you can get it for 519, which actually isn't that bad. Well, maybe I should get a Southampton kit. Nah, <laughs> I won't. This video, if this video gets. Well, I'm gonna have to. If this video gets 500 views, I'll buy a Southampton kit. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna regret that, but this, this video's not gonna hit 500 views. Uh, personally, the kit's fine. I do like the whole shirt design, but this fat sponsor ruins it so much. The whole Bitcoin thing. But if it did, if it wasn't a Bitcoin, it would be indecent. The, even though it ruins it, it's still being decent. I feel like the Premier League have had a very good set of kits. Moving on, it's Leeds United. And I love this kit. I'm not a Leeds fan or anything. I, I, my, my dad has a friend who is a Leeds fan. But I personally love the white with the yellow and the blue. Ah, it looks so good. I love it a lot. It's going to go top tier. It's, I don't feel it's as good as the Arsenal kit. But uh, just something with that kit. 
I hope Bleach doesn't go down because uh, it's just such a good okay. Now probably the most recognizable Premier League team said a lot of people. It's the Man United. You can get twenty percent off before it was literally ninety nine dollars. No wait, before it was uh, here in Norway, it's in literally about a thousand kroners, not a thousand dollars. No, a thousand kroners, which in the U.S. it's a hundred dollars. Which is a lot, but now you can get it for a bit cheaper. Personally, I do like the kit. It's a fire kit. I feel, but I feel like I don't know what I feel. I like the details on it. It's a very good kit. I don't know if it's absolutely top. I'm gonna have to kind of rate the top tier. I do like it a lot. Moving on, it is the city kit, which is crack expensive, my guy. <laughs> no, that sounds so cringe. Uh, personally. I'm saying personally a lot. Also, this is only my opinion. If you have different opinions, good for you. But mainly my opinion is the most important one. And I do like this kit. It's a good kit. My mom is, of course, a Man City fan. And with all the things happening to City, we might not see him for a bit. But this is a fire kit. I love the blue design. The badge is in the middle, which is different. It looks maybe a bit wonky because of it. But I'm still ready to top tier. Moving on, it is West Ham United, which is an absolute fire of a kit. Wow, dude, every sing dude, I can't believe every single Premier League team had an absolutely fire kit. Also, if this video does good, I'll do a rating home kit and maybe eventually third kit. It's a fire kit. I like it a lot. It looks beautiful. I like the purple coloring with the blue and the white and the shirt colors. Ah, oh, it's great. Top tier. Moving on, it's Tottenham. It's not much to say. I know there's a lot of Tottenham fans out there, but like personally, it looks like every other Tottenham kit. I don't really see anything different about it. Maybe the, maybe like the greenish collars. It's not a bad kit. I feel like it's average. It's like an average Tottenham kit. I know there's a lot of Tottenham fans out there. Personally. I'm not saying it's a bad kit, but it's average. It's an average Tottenham kit. What can I say? Next up is Newcastle, and it—you're not gonna lie—it actually took me a bit to just find a picture of the Newcastle freaking kit because I was getting bombarded with freaking sponsors about China or something. That makes sense though. They got a freaking sponsor there. Anyways, it's a good kit. I do like it. The sponsor—a lot of people say the sponsor ruins it. Personally, it, I do feel it does ruin it a bit. But if the sponsor wasn't there, it would be a, I feel maybe it would be like an average kit. The sponsor just maybe carry it down a bit. I'm gonna still say it's an average Newcastle kit. Maybe my opinions will change about that one personally. Next up is Everton. And I know Mark hates Everton because he's a Liverpool fan, but I'm reading kits here. I do like the Everton kit a bit, cause, of course I'm maybe a bit biased because my favorite color is blue. But it, I just really like the kit, I like the little details there and then the badge. The badge makes it look a bit cooler. Steak.com, I don't know, I have no idea what that is. I feel it's a good, it's a good solid kit for Everton. So I'm gonna put it in decent. Next up, Leicester City. Wow, what can I say about Leicester City? I don't know why, but the bags look so much different. And personally, that carries it down. That's, I know that sounds weird, but I feel, I, why? I don't like that the badge is that color. If that badge was just a normal fox color, I would like it way more. Same with the Adidas, why can't you make like the fox colors? That does carry it down a bit. I mean, it, it just does sound a bit weird. But it's like, no, 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 no. Carries it down a bit. The FPS trade online sponsor does sound like some website that will steal your kids. I'm gonna put in an average Lister kit though. Next up, it's Chelsea and triple blue kit in a row. Uh, the Chelsea kit, I do like the sponsor on it. And I do really like the call collar collar whatever we call that i feel like a lot of kids are having that to kind of that ish to shine but i feel like chelsea is really the kid that uses it pretty good 
unlike what Chelsea are doing here, I'm, I'm probably going to rate this high. But it's kind of hard to say. Like the badge, like the sponsor, I like the coloring. The back is boring, but you're just supposed to be a name there, of course. Every back is not boring, but it doesn't have a name. Pers it's a it's a good kit. It's a good kit. I'm gonna rank it decent. Now it is Nottingham Forest, and whoa, what is this kit? Well, you can get that cheap. <laughs> 590 kroners here in Norway and in England. That's $59. Sheesh, that's so expensive. Uh, wait, add sponsor. Oh. Whoa. I don't know if this, I don't know if I got a picture without the sponsor on it. I really don't know. I gotta check. Is it? No, that also has it. So I, I, I guess this is the kit and, uh, it's, I do like it. Nottingham, I do really like the kit. It's a, it's a very solid kit. I like the color on it, it's a bit bland here. It was probably a sponsor supposed to be here, so I think I got a sponsorless. But I do like it decent. Now we're making a quick stop to Bournemouth, and I love this kit. I don't like, I don't, personally, uh, in real life, I don't really like Bournemouth that much. I'm not saying it's a bad club. But it's just, eh. I'm a bit salty after they scored in less than a minute against us, Fulham, in, in a 2-2 draw. I'm a bit salty about that still. But it, I do, it's a, it's a fire kit. I love the design, the coloring, the little patterns there. It's such a good kit. Bournemouth probably have one of the best kits. It's a top tier kit. Now it's a bit boring Aston Villa. And as I just said, it's a bit boring Aston Villa. Nothing really special about it. Just, it's Aston Villa. I don't really like, uh, personally, Aston Villa have had like this kind of coloring for a long time. But I don't actually really like it all that much. I don't really like the colors. I don't feel they mix all that well. Of course, they do mix. Aston Villa have had this kind of design for decades now. And I'm not saying it's bad, but it's kind of meh. Our first meh. Next up, it is Crystal Palace. Let's give a round of applause for Crystal Palace. They have probably the best kits of all the teams. This is a fire kit with the current kind of crayon design. It has the same design for its uh, whoa, for its home and away home and fur kits. But it's just such a fire kit. Like, look at Wilfred Zaha wearing it. You can't say that doesn't. You, you, you can't say that looks bad. This is an absolutely fire kit. Well done, Crystal Palace. It's top tier. Now we got our second to last pick, but certainly is not last in Premier League. It is Brentford. Think yeah, Brentford, yeah, Brentford. If you get this kit pretty cheap, wow, 490. If this video gets 5,000 views, I'll buy also Brentford kit. This is a good kit. Love the sponsor, love the badge, love kind of the stripe design. I do like kind of the stripe designs. I don't like it always, but it does fit on the Brentford kit. So I'll say, so I have to say, it is a very good kit. Well done, Brentford. It's gonna go in a Oh no no! It's gonna go in the top tier. As you can see, it was—it's just been perfect kits for the Premier League. Just not been a single like bad. Honestly, like Aston Villa is a meh, but it's not bad. Now, last but not least, it is Brighton, and I love it. I say I love every single kit, but it is perfect. The sponsor doesn't ruin it that much. I like it just kind of fits in. Well, that's not, no, not like that. But I do really like it. The color's good. Love the kit, love the badge, love the coloring. I love everything. Such a good kit. Maybe not my absolute favorite, but it is in top tier. But most of all, which kit do I feel is the best one? I must say it's of course Fulham though, <laughs> but I have to say I there's a bit it's it's pretty close I feel with Brentford, Crystal Palace, Arsenal, 
and Leeds. I mean, I'll put, I'll put Bournemouth in there as well. But I have to say it goes Crystal Palace, Arsenal, Brentford, Leeds, Bournemouth, Man United, then City, then Brighton, then West Ham, then uh, probably Liverpool a bit higher. Then Fulham, then Liverpool, then Wolves, then Tottenham. No, uh, put the uh, here. Probably a bit higher. There we go. And we'll have that like it that it is. So this is how I'd rank it from best to worst. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's maybe a bit quicker video than I normally do. But I my channel's kinda dying, so I have to try stuff to get the views up. I like I could just say my channel's kinda dying after the Thomas the Man Train video and now that game is kind of not dead, but it's not as popular. But I can't really make a video about that now. But Hope you guys enjoyed it. Whoa! Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. We just, of course, need five more subscribers before the end of the year so we can hit our milestone goal of 50 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below if you want me to make more TLS videos. And if this video does get, I'll say 500, I feel like 500 views is a bit little. 555 views i will buy the southampton kit if it's still i'm 30 percent off when i'm uh if this video does get out high up i hope it's still on 30 percent off anyways goodbye like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye bye